What is an estuary? What is tide? Why does it change every six hours or so? They're reaching people all up and down the river now. Beacon Institute has a three-part mission, uh, research, education, and public policy. Our research component uh, is much broadened now as we're part of Clarkson University. Not only are we interested in, in, in science and engineering and research at Clarkson, but it has to have a point to it. There has to be, why are we doing it? Uh, in this case, the benefit to humanity is just so obvious to us. To understand the complex relationship between humans, the built environment, and our fragile water ecosystems, teams of scientists, engineers, and educators at Beacon Institute are creating a whole new world of tools. Tools to protect water. One example would be the latest deployment of a low-cost, real-time water quality sensor. Stations that we're positioning throughout the watershed measure the quantity of water that flows. But these units are actually measuring the water quality. Turbidity, which is the particle load of the, of the water. The conductivity, which is the salinity of the water. What we call colored dissolved organic matter. There are commercially available units that we can buy off the shelf. That's about $12,000. And the optical units, the chlorophyll A, et cetera, are about the same price. So this combines both into one, and it's about $1,200, so it's an order of magnitude less. Cost efficiency is key in making real-time water quality sensing universal, setting the stage for a new era of environmental protection. Plans by Beacon Institute to commercialize the production of these water quality sensors are upcoming. Plans that will complement government capacity to invest in wiring waterways for cleaner water while strengthening New York's economy. People talk about oil as being the scarcest resource. And maybe it's scarce, but uh, water is certainly becoming more scarce. And if you think about how, uh, in many cases, it's polluted, understanding water quality around the globe is really the key to human survival. The Beacon Institute of Clarkson University really is a key asset. It's the crown jewel of, 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 of what we do in terms of research activity and then translating that into uh, action that can really help humanity. The core motivation for Clarkson University and Beacon Institute is to connect education with the world's pressing issues. With a focus on STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and math, educational programs at Beacon Institute optimize Clarkson's Tier 1 academics to inspire environmental stewardship for middle school and high school students, undergraduate and graduate students, as well as practicing educators. The thing that's most encouraging to me is, one, from a technology standpoint, it's very interesting, but two, to, to see this interest and spark of uh, you know, just gathering data. And this, you know, we had, haven't really had that before. I've always been interested in it, but the, to see the students really doing it is, is kind of unique. The mixture of lecturing and then going outside and applying what we just learned and seeing with our own eyes and being able to touch like the water, it just helps you process it a lot better, I think. According to UN Water, approximately 3.5 million people die each year due to inadequate water supply, sanitation, and hygiene. They tell us the biodiversity of freshwater ecosystems has been degraded more than any other ecosystem. To protect our waterways, restore ecosystems, and maintain the health of our communities, Beacon Institute is advancing science and technology for a better understanding of rivers and estuaries. And we are not an advocacy group. That we inform public policy by the data that we collect. In environmental politics, we've got to get out of the he said, she said world. We've got to get to a place where our decisions are informed by solid, systematically collected data that is reliable and tells a story. That's our business. Beacon Institute's educational programs 
policy initiatives and environmentally related events are held at its Center for Environmental Innovation and Education, known as CEIE. This LEED Gold certified facility is located on the banks of the Hudson River in Dennings Point State Park in Beacon, New York. Beacon Institute will soon join a consortium of partners led by Clarkson University to create a new state-of-the-art environmental research estuarium at Pier 26 in New York City. Working alongside the Hudson River Park Trust, the estuarium will become a world-class destination to expand awareness of our unique Hudson River estuary. Understanding water quality around the globe is really the key to human survival. We think our work here has the potential to be transformational for the environment.